In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix leg muscle pain in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're dealing with leg muscle pain, leg muscle strain, muscle cramps, spasms, you name it and need a quick fix, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. I'm going to show you safe, effective, at-home stretches and exercises that are really going to target tight leg muscles. We're going to focus on everything, pretty much from the glutes, buttock area, all the way down to the calves. The only piece of equipment I'm going to be using is a racquetball. You can also substitute this for a tennis ball, but I find that the racquetball is a little bit better because it has more grip. They're very easy to get. You can get them locally at a sporting goods department. You can also get them online, and they're also inexpensive. I believe I paid about a dollar for this. So again, all of these exercises, they're safe, effective, and you may find that gives uh, pain relief in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started with them and get those leg muscles feeling better right now. So this is how we're going to target glute or buttock muscle pain to get quick relief. Let's start off on the floor. What I'm going to do is roll over to the side that I'm looking to target. So in this case, I'm having right-sided glute or buttock pain. I'm going to put a pillow underneath that side's elbow too, just for extra comfort. What I want to do is take my ball and go over the spot that you really feel like we need to pinpoint into that glute. And then I'm just going to put it underneath there and I'm going to roll over just like that. You should feel like that racquetball or the tennis ball is right over that spot where you're having a spasm, muscle knot, whatever. So how we're going to increase this pretty much pinpoint massage into that muscle, take the bottom leg, the side that you're having muscle pain, and you're just going to lift it up like this. This is really going to intensify that targeting into that muscle pain. So only go to your comfort level. You want to hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. You're going to relax and then you're going to repeat up to five times or until you feel the muscle pain start to release. If you need even more of an intense exercise into that spot, lift the bottom leg completely up like this. And I tell you what, this is a very, very good way to pinpoint that muscle pain. So I hold this one for 10 to 15 seconds. I'm going to relax, and then I'm just going to simply repeat that up to five times or until you feel that spot start to find relief. But this one right here, you can then just switch to another spot as needed or switch to the other side too. So some of the most common spots to see leg pain are over the quadriceps right here in the front of the legs and the hamstrings on the back side of the leg. Let's do a stretch that's going to target both at the same time. I'm going to be using a sturdy chair, so make sure it has no wheels. Let's grab onto the chair and then take the other hand, grab at the ankle of one leg and then bend the knee, bring it back like this. Let's also make sure that we have very good upright posture in the lower back. You should start to feel a stretch over the front portion of the leg. It's going to activate those quadriceps and also the hip flexors. Try to bring that back as much as you can to get a very good stretch only to your comfort level. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot from my waist or my hips and go forward as much as I can. When I do this, you're going to feel a very good stretch in the back side of the other leg. That's targeting the hamstrings. So you should feel the front of one leg and the back side of the other. Keep going forward as far as you're able to, and then you want to hold this for 15 seconds. From there, just relax, take a little bit of a breather, and then just repeat that up to five times. From there, switch legs, and then repeat that process to make sure that we keep both sides in balance. So here's a great way to target muscle spasms, muscle knots, and cramps in the front and the back of the legs. I'm going to be using my racquetball. Let's start off with the front part over the quadriceps right here. Where you're having that muscle pain, take both hands and press into the ball and go over those spots in a nice circular motion. You want to just apply enough pressure where you feel a very good self-massage but not causing any discomfort. And just go over those different spots Try to do this for about 30 seconds in a nice up and down motion and then a nice circular motion. From there, you can intensify the um, self-massage into the leg by lifting the leg up and down very slowly while you do this. If you still feel like this is not enough pressure, 
take your elbow and just press in there and do the same thing with it. But again, only to your comfort level. If we want to focus on the hamstrings or the back of the leg, let's take our racquetball and go over the spot that feels like it's very tight and you're having a lot of muscle pain and take both hands and press the leg down into the racquetball or tennis ball. This one can be very intense, so really go slowly with it. What I want to do is just take my leg and go in a nice circular motion, switch the uh, spot of the ball to just go over all of those spots that you're having muscle pain. And then again, from there, you can lift the leg up. This actually feels really intense. And then you can bring it back down and then just keep repeating that process, uh, holding it for 30 seconds, switching spots until you feel all of them release. So here's a great way to tackle leg muscle pain in the calf muscle. What I'm going to do in a chair is bring the side that I'm looking to focus up over the other leg like this. Let's take two thumbs. Let's go over the spot that you're feeling a lot of pain. Do a nice circular motion like this into the calf muscle. Apply enough pressure to your comfort level that you're going to get a nice uh, self-massage into that area. I just like to do this for about 15 seconds. Switch over to a different spot and repeat until you feel like you've gone over the complete area. How you can take this to the next level is let's go back to that original spot that you were feeling a lot of pain. Let's put pressure in there and do that motion again, but let's take our foot all the way down and then I'm going to apply pressure in there and then I'm going to bring it all the way up and do this very, very slowly for about 30 seconds. You're going to feel the muscle start to fire and tighten up and you're able to just hit it in a little bit of a different fashion. And then again, just repeat over different spots until you feel like you've hit the whole area and you're starting to get a lot of relief. So here's a great way to target the calf muscles and the front of the leg, the shin muscles, with a racquetball. Let's take a rolled up bath towel, put it on the floor, take our racquetball, place it on top of the towel. Whatever calf that we're looking to get some pain relief in, just place it over the racquetball and apply downward pressure with the leg until you feel a very good amount of pressure in there, but only again to our comfort level. Go up and down very, very slowly over the area that you're feeling a lot of tightness, a lot of muscle pain. And you want to do this for about 15 upwards to 30 seconds, just nice and slow movements. From there, we can activate the muscle by doing the same thing, but putting our toes away from us. Do this again, 15 to 30 seconds. From there, let's bring the toes all the way back towards us, activate that muscle a little bit differently, and try to massage that muscle by targeting it a little bit different. But you can do this up to five times or until you feel that muscle really start to release. Just go through the different motions and go with the one that you really feel is hitting it the best. To target the shin, what I'm going to do is just put the ball again over the towel. I'm going to get on all fours, but I'm going to place my front part of the leg over the ball. And again, just nice, slow, gentle movements going up and down those muscles. Try to target the spots that you feel needs a little bit more relief by putting more pressure in there, going up and down with it. You can also do nice circular motions, but again, this right here just allows you to go in there, reduce a lot of muscle tightness, and hopefully get some quick pain relief. So if you liked the video and it helped you, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.